everyone. It is Kelly with kellyscards.ca and I'm so glad you can join me for this sixth and final card in my everyday card kit number four series. Again I wanted to bring in some people had questions about scraps so I thought I would put together a couple cards that you really use your kind of your scraps your leftovers and what I did in this card is I took varying papers from either the same paper line or similar colors and I put it together and what I did was I cut all of these little squares and I'm going to piece them together on this white card mat and what we're going to do is we're going to ink it up and it's going to look really great. To finish it off I've got this great die cut smile and we will be putting that on last. So to start out what I've picked is I have picked this ink worn lipstick I thought this was pretty much the closest I had done a few test runs on some other types of pinks in the distress line and I thought this one might be too light so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the worn lipstick and what we're going to do is we're just going to lightly ink the edges of all of these squares and this is going to take a little bit of time but that the end result is going to be totally worth it because it's going to just help these squares pop right off that white background and again I'm not putting too much ink on each square I just want to get the edges and this is such a good idea there's so many papers again that are some of our favorites and maybe you only have a little bit of it left and this is a way that you can really use up those scraps and enjoy that paper right to the very end. almost done inking up the edges and you can already see how much more each of these stands out because we've inked them. So the first thing you need to do is adhere this white piece right down to your pink card base and then we'll start adhering the squares onto here. It's going to be way harder to do it if we put the squares on first and then try to put the whole piece. So we're going to put this one down like this. And we'll put this one down, nice and centered, just like that. You can move the blocks around in a way that you'd prefer. Maybe you'd like this one over here, but this is the way I'm going to keep it. And just to add more interest, what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise all of these up on pop dots, and it's really going to help it stand out. So I'm going to bring in my little half dots and what I'm going to do is just do the corners first and then I will fill in the rest from there. So I'm just going to put the squares around like that and then I'm just going to put this nice and even trying to leave a little bit of equal space and just like that and then I'll be able to put each square in from there And lastly, 
We have this one here. And there, that is all lined up. And look how spectacular that really looks. Okay, so that, all the squares are on there. And in case you notice that my pink card base is now on here, I actually put all the squares on the white at first, and then it was so hard to put on, so that's why I filmed earlier to put the white piece on the pink First. but now I've got it on there and it really really looks great so now we have this wonderful sentiment smile and we are going to put it in here and we do want to pop this up so what we're going to do is again we're going to take our pop dots and we're going to want to just again cut them so they're thinner and we're going to try to place them on this word smile and if you use these smaller pop tots like what I'm using, these are going to fit absolutely perfect. If you cut them in half, they will fit perfect on these letters. Okay, there. Now I've got all of those pop dots onto the back of the smile. So I'm going to take my EK Success Reverse Tweezers and I'm just going to grip this. It's just going to make it easier to move it around because all these pop dots, if you have regular tweezers, that will work too. If you just want to use your fingers, that's fine too. Now we could have it down anywhere on this card. I like it being fairly centered. And what we're going to do is we're just going to place it down. We're going to place one letter at a time so that we can keep it nice and straight. And I'm going to push onto those pop dots and if any aren't straight you can just lift them up and readjust them and there we've got quite a bit of dimension on this card not only on the squares but the word smile as well. So what I've done is I've picked out three sequins that will look nice on this card. I've chosen a clear one, a pink one, and then kind of a teal one. Now you can put it anywhere you want. I am going to start placing them down and again you like to have a bit of a triangle when you do this. So we're gonna put this one down and then I'm going to have this one here and this one up here and again it is in a triangle and there's three of them. It's way more pleasing to the eye than if you use an even number. So we'll just put this on there. And I'm just using my matte medium. As a tip, you can take an acryl acrylic block or something fairly flat and you can put it on top of your sequence and this weight will help keep your sequence to glue down nice and straight. Now we're just going to leave this sit on here for a couple minutes so that it can dry and when it dries it'll be nice and flat. I've given it some time to dry and I'm just going to pull these blocks off now and you can see it's adhered nice and flat. And the last thing we have to do is put our white insert into the inside of the card. I'm just going to run some adhesive along the outsides. We'll add this nice and straight and push that down and that completes this card. And again, I really like all of these ways that you can take your scraps and make them very useful and look at the colors and the different really the different papers that are involved in this card I mean a lot of them don't even they're not even a paper collection but they work because I've pulled certain colors and tones and I really like how this comes together and then our our sentiment right in the middle plus a little bit of sequins just to add something different and this is a really great card this again is a quite an open-ended card that you can just pick up and send when you need to send one so this concludes our final card in this card kit series. Again, this is Everyday Card Kit number four. There is another card kit coming real soon, so please check out that. And in the meantime, if you missed any of the other videos, you can check those out as well. 
please be sure to check out my blog and website at kellyscards.ca and I thank you so much for joining me.